Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. Our feature story involves Midwest Electric and their rural partnerships. There are so many examples where Midwest Electric has been a key partner in improving the quality of life for businesses, residents, and workers, helping with expansion and creating jobs for businesses like the Marion Industrial Park in Mercer County. What started in a cornfield is now a thriving business center. And one of those fine businesses there is Moeller Brew Barn. We'll be back with that story and more this week in Ohio Country Today. It's just a few steps for tradition, for innovation. A few steps so we can all stay connected and live better lives. And just a few steps for all the Touchstone Energy Cooperative members who got us here. Learn more about the power of your co-op membership. Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. Big Dan Wilson alongside of Nick Moeller. And Nick is the proprietor, if you will, of Moeller Brew Barn. Nick, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Dan. I want to talk a little bit about your product, but first, one of the cool things is the industry as a whole. You know, you were on the cutting edge, it seemed like, when you opened your microbrew here. And let's talk about the industry here in Ohio and how you became a part of it. Uh, well, um, about... Seven years ago, I was living in California with my wife, Monica, and uh, we were having our second kid, and uh, we wanted to move back to small town Ohio, and uh, the question was, you know, what were we going to do? Um, in San Diego, uh, there's, the craft beer business was booming, and uh, I kind of saw it as a way, like, you know, we could bring a piece of this uh, to small town Ohio and, and Midwestern Ohio. Um, so we, we decided to go for the Moeller Brew Barn concept here in Maria Stein. And, uh, you know, we figured people had to drive to get to the breweries anyway. So having it in a downtown uh, wouldn't necessarily, necessarily be an, an advantage. And then, uh, you know, finding this, this lot in life uh, where, you know, it's beautiful to come drive. You know, you're right on, off the, the, uh, the land of the cross-tipped churches. Uh, Ohio Byway, you got the church steeples, uh, the silos, the farmland. Um, so it was really seemed like a, a perfect place to, to start it and go for it. You know, the ambiance, of course, is fantastic. And I remember stepping in this place where it was maybe a quarter of the size when you first started. And the expansion that you did here is just tremendous. Of course, you couldn't do it without partners like Midwest Electric. And talk a little bit about their involvement with you in this particular industrial park here in Maria Stein. It's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you, you brought up some of our, our cool products and, and really the, the whole space space here is the product to see you know that people can see the tanks they can see the brewing process um so so yeah right away uh, back in 2014 i i uh, was in touch with midwest electric and as we were op preparing for a, a 2015 launch uh we were able to get an economic development loan um uh, through them and with that we we promised uh to uh, create five new jobs, and then within a, a few years, we we were already at eight new jobs, and and, uh, and getting ready for another expansion. Um, so so again, when we when we we went into expansion in 2018 and 2019, uh, we approached Midwest Electric again. Um, they saw our success on economic development, and uh, we were able to ask for uh, more money and create more jobs. Um, we we guessed that we'd create another nine jobs and uh, we've created over 40. Um, so it's, it's, been, um, it's been neat to see, not just for you know, this expansion, but uh, you know, to kind of grow the, the brew barn family. And um, so, yeah, we've got a great team. It's well, what's, what's cool is the fact that you, know, you have another location. It's not just the fact that you're growing here in Maria Stein, but let's talk about your second location as well. Yeah, so, uh, in the city of Troy, um, the city of Troy was uh, great to work with. Uh, same type of thing. Um, you know, they're all about economic development and, and making, you know, a neat spot for for Miami County and and uh, you know also for for tourism, bringing people into to downtown Troy. So uh, it, that's been a, a good partnership. And again, another um, 
another 40 employees in, in Troy. So uh, we've been able to uh, build a, a big team there, um, you know, working off the same uh, principles that we, w that we have here, which is, you know, just kind of summed up as do it right the first time and, and do it well. And, uh, you know, that, that model kind of uh, flows throughout the, the organization. And um, so therefore we got good beer. Yeah, you do. There's no question about it. Your product, let's talk a little bit about that product. I know you started with uh, a couple of different types that are still with you today as far as the brand is concerned, but you also have the seasonality of uh, some of the brews that you do. And maybe talk about how that all came to fruition, you know, what you chose, the ingredients that are involved, and especially from an ag standpoint, where those ingredients come from. Right. Um, well, now you're making me thirsty um, for... <laughs> For beers like our, our Frogtown IPA, um, that was one of our original IPAs, and um, that's that's still here today. Uh, the first summer that we were open, uh, we developed the Wally Post Red, uh, and we really made that into a um, a good beer for this area. And uh, now, why don't you explain Wally Post Red to our viewers out there who don't know the history of Wally Post? Of, of course, uh, Wally Post was uh, Cincinnati Red Leg in, in the 1950s. Um, in, you know, in the major league in the 1950s. He's in the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. Um, so really uh, a local legend. Um, his family um, his family helped start the Cancer Association of Mercer County. And, just, and, and beyond that, just a, a great family to uh, kind of help keep sharing the story of Wally Post. Yeah. Once again, let's, let's move on to some of your other brews too, man. It's just some great stuff. Right. Uh, Mo Eisen is, is another original product, and uh, but we, we keep keep innovating. Uh, one of our latest beer releases is the Hop Yard 500. That's our 500th batch of beer. Um, uh, we made that with hops from Hop Yard 29. Uh, they're here in Ohio, uh, located east of Sydney, and um, uh, Meyer Lodge and, and Chris Meyer. They do such great work, um, you know, in their community and. And that's what's neat with working with different company with different companies and different communities. Yeah. Everyone's uh, you know pulling to together uh, to do good. So um, you know it's a neat industry to be a part of. Uh, but also with hops like Hop Yard 29s, we get to create new beers and um, you know show people a new product. We really focus on putting a good product you know in the can. Um, really develop that trust with the customer that when they order a molar from the tap lineup or, or pick up that six pack that you're going to get a, a good beer um but our our marketing and branding is 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 pretty forward it's neat it's clean it's simple uh and it's it's a little bit rural it's got you know the, the rooster is a, a good mark but i think it, it translates into uh rural ohio but but beyond that, too, it's, you know, and, you know, if you think about Columbus, that's that's Cowtown, USA. So I think our our uh, brand translates into the city, too, because, you know, folks are like, oh, man, I, I love getting out in the country and, you know, visiting f friends and family and are uh, taking those drives out to places like Maria Stein, Ohio, and, and, and kind of, you know, enjoying what else Ohio has to offer. I have to tell you, I've been a big fan of yours ever since you started and to watch your growth since that first small part part of this barn that you started in as far as the microbrew was concerned to see where it is today so what's the future hold for you nick uh that's that's a good question um we got my wife and i have three kids so so you know whenever i get that question that's that's first on the in the perspective but um we just want to uh keep building a good brand um uh, keep bring being product development forward, and you know, like I said, um, the the Molar Brew Barn in Troy, uh, in the, in that old uh, 1912 building, it's just it's a beautiful church, and we really brought a, a neat product to life uh, with this Brew Barn expansion um, and all the windows that that looks out into um, you know rural Western Ohio. That that's part of the product. So, you know, I've got my eyes open, um, you know, to be another big project. It's, it's got to be something pretty special. Um, but other than that, just, you know, trying to keep, keep doing the right thing and, and see when that next growth opportunity is. Nick, you've got a great website for people to get more information. What is it? Yeah, visit MolarBrewBarn.com. 
Uh, we got all our beers on there, um, our, our menu, uh, and check out our Facebook page. We put all the pretty pictures on there and, and tell you about all the events going on um, and keep it, keeping you update, up to date with uh, the products that we got going on. Our, our next beer is the Winans Wordle Nut Brown Ale. Uh, uh, Winans Chocolates and Candies is, is a great product here in Ohio, and we used whole Wordles in the, in the brew kettle, um, and uh, I think it's... It That'll be out next week. It should have some good chocolatiness and nuttiness. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I love the fact that you are very creative when it comes to your seasonal brews as well. So Nick Moeller has been our guest from Moeller Brew Barn here in beautiful Maria Stein. We want to thank our friends at Midwest Electric for helping us provide this particular story to you. And once again, for more information, Nick, where do they go? MollerBrewBarn.com. Thanks for having me, Dan. And thanks for joining us. We'll be back with more in Ohio country today, right after this. It's just a few steps for tradition, for innovation, a few steps so we can all stay connected and live better lives. And just a few steps for all the Touchstone Energy Cooperative members who got us here. Learn more about the power of your co-op membership 